Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, la da 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 da, li da da, o bo da da, la da da da. Salutations from space, friends, and aloha from Earth. This is Gemini Brett of More Than Astrology here with a short presentation of the Christmas star mysteries. Let's make sure that once the big reveal goes down, we preserve the magic of this season. Right, so the Christmas star mysteries by Gemini Brett, more than astrology. This is really the, um, the second level of the Christmas star mysteries. The first is this tale that the kids are told around this time of year the Sagittarius month, a time for mysteries and consumerism. Well, how did that happen? That's not the tale for today. The tale today is about the mysteries and the magic of the Christmas tree. And Santa Claus, you know, why do we put these lights on the tree? Is it perhaps to simulate snow? Well, as a star man, I think you might guess that I feel that these white lights on the tree are these, the stars of the heavens. And that the tree, therefore, would be the world tree, Yggdrasil. Now, what about this star that we fit to the top of the tree? Ah, right. This is a better alignment. Why? Well, we're gonna to have to do a little astronomy, friends. Here is the astronomy of the tropical zodiac configured to the celestial equator, the plane of Earth's spin or primary motion. We often see an image like this, beautiful one created by the beautiful Anna Zaharia, um, tilted here and aligned so that the horizontal is the ecliptic, the plane of Earth's secondary motion, our orbit of sun or from Earth's point of view, Sun's orbit of us. Anyway, you probably know that Earth's axis is on a lean of about 23 and a half degree, and it always leans towards the solstice points, the north pole of Earth, the north spin axis, the spine of Gaia, this world tree with the star on top is always leaning towards the tropical, astrological point that we call zero degrees, Cancer, the Gemini Cancer cusp, Cancer, a sign of home. Anyway, this would bring us to the third level of the Christmas mysteries and the cross of matter and um, the medicine wheel and perhaps this cross, but let's stick for now with the tree. And um, well, this one shows reindeer with it. Why? Okay, so we'll go to something, I guess, a little more jolly. Santa. Um, so why is Santa from the North Pole? And can you see Santa's sleigh here? Do you know which direction we're facing? Let me bring in some constellational art and can point out to you then the big bear there towards the lower left of the middle of the screen, Ursa Major, the asterism, the Big Dipper, or the wagon. Whose pointer stars point to Polaris, North Star. This, my friends, is the star on the top of the world tree. Our spine of Gaia, the world tree's axis or trunk, is pointing north to Polaris, Pole Star, which we call North Star. So the Polaris North Star, circled here, is the tail star of the little bear or of the little dipper. And there's the North Celestial Pole, which is the place in space that our axis points. And so because the spin axis points there, as the earth spins west to east, which we notice in the heavens is the sky spinning east to west. And in the Northern sky, that is a counterclockwise spin. So here's a really cool astronomical thing to know. The altitude to North Star is equal to your latitude on Earth. 
I'm currently sitting in San Anselmo, California of a latitude of, of about 38 degrees north. And so North Star is 38 degrees above my horizon. The horizon is zero. The zenith is 90, the top of the sky. So where on earth is 90 degrees north latitude? And the answer is the North Pole. If you're at the North Pole of Earth, lying down at Santa's workshop, or perhaps more likely floating on a boat, and you stare straight up at the sky, it's going to look like this, just much more slow. Everything spins in one day. So now back to Santa's sleigh. Now I'm gonna turn him around. We'll take some of that um, other art away. I'm gonna have to rearrange the reindeer a little bit to show you how Santa's sleigh maps to an asterism that we now call Big Dipper, but was traditionally known as the wagon, and then still many places is. The wagon of the sky, the Big Dipper, which runs from there along the arc of the Dipper and through arc, well, the herdsman to this bright star, Arcturus, a very giant red star of the sky. So we're gonna need another reindeer with a red nose, Rudolph. And so here's Santa's sleigh being pulled by these nine reindeer with the red-nosed one at the front. All right, so let's watch this in the sky. First, here's Santa's sleigh in the line of reindeer, which points to North Star. Santa, of course, lives at North Pole. And so here we see one day of earth spinning, Santa going all the way around the globe to deliver presents to the nice boys and girls of earth. That's you. Thanks for watching the Christmas Star Mysteries with Gemini Brett. That's me. And you can find me at morethanastrology.com. If you go over there, you'll find such treasures as an invitation to celebrate the star mysteries in the marriage of heaven and earth with myself and Maurice Fernandez, Owner Dozer from Turkey, and Nadia Shah, and Ursula Stockner from Mexico, where we will be on a private island flamingo retreat in beautiful sandy beaches and wide open starry skies, and have a week of astrology and yoga and Astro Mysteries ceremony. We'll head to the Pyramid of the Magician Ushmal for ceremony with Don Marzal. Come to Mexico. It's a wonderful time to celebrate family and community, friends. All right, so the third level of the Christmas Mysteries, I think, for another time. Until then, see you in space. This is your friendly astrolonaut, Gemini Brett, signing off. <laughs>